Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It feels so weird. I feel like every time I make a YouTube video, I'm like, oh my god, it's been so long. And I actually had every intention to like, you know, keep on a good roll, but then I lost my camera. It wasn't a good time. Anyway, we have a new one. Whee! But yeah, today I'm doing a video which is literally something I've never done on my channel before. So I'm kind of nervous. So I'm going to be sitting down with my mom and my sisters and we're going to answer some questions that you wouldn't personally ask your own mother. So put a question box on Instagram and oh my god, the questions are out of this world. Before I go into that, I just want to have a quick chat to you about the jewellery that I am wearing. So if you're not new here and you've watched a few of my videos before, you already know I love Ana Luisa, I love everything they stand for, but the reason I want to have a quick chat to you about them today is they are currently running an amazing offer over on their website, so it's 15% off all products. Now the reason that they're doing it is to celebrate Mother's Day. I know obviously in Ireland and the UK we already had our Mother's Day. I thought I would mention this to you anyway because who doesn't want 15% off and you know what I feel like Mother's Day should be every day all over the world so even if you don't want to go and treat yourself go treat your mother instead. The sale started on the 12th of April and it's running all the way up until the 5th of May so you have all the way up until then international and that would be us here in Ireland we have until the 3rd of May to go and grab ourselves an offer. Now I want to show you the latest pieces that I got and I have a few pieces on as well. I literally guys I'm not even joking I wear Ana Luisa like every single day so the latest pieces I got I got this little necklace I absolutely love it and I love it because it's actually a little bit longer than some of my current chains that I have so literally all of the jewelry I'm wearing is from Ana Luisa so it's a little bit longer which kind of gives like that layered effect and the next ones then that I got are these beautiful hoop earrings now you know me I'm a hoop gal bigger the hoop bigger the <laughs> I love these because they're a really lightweight hoop so they don't feel too heavy in my ears. I have really sensitive ears so that's like a big big thing for me. I would style these day to day for like a summery kind of look but also on a night out. So that's what I kind of love about all of this jewellery. I would definitely wear all of this day to day as well as night out we kind of wear it, which I love. That kind of gives it that versatility which we love to see. And then the final piece that I chose out this time is this beautiful little bracelet which has this diamond here the little diamond in the middle I just love a bracelet because I feel like it's a piece of jewelry I kind of always forget about I love Ana Luisa I've mentioned this so many times before but the long lastingness up in the shower if I haven't had time to take my pieces off and they're perfect afterwards and I think that's really important kind of when you're buying jewelry because then it kind of comes into the sustainability element as well because you don't want to be buying things that you're gonna have to throw away in a couple of months or whatever speaking of Sustainability, that is another reason I absolutely love Ana Luisa. They have sustainability at the forefront of their mission and in everything that they do. So that comes down to how the items are made. They offset 100% of their carbon emissions. It comes down to how the items are packaged. I will show you. This is the box that all three of my pieces came in and they come in these gorgeous little pouches which you could definitely reuse. And then obviously the tiny little box that it comes in is cardboard so it can obviously be recycled. And as well as that, they only do kind of limited drops, which means that there's not like any excess waste or anything like that. One of the other big reasons I absolutely love Ana Luisa, the prices, the prices for me are so fair and so affordable, as well as having that kind of more high-end kind of pieces. You know, having the lower price point as an option, it's kind of a really good like bridge to kind of get on to like actually spending money on pieces that are gonna last. Start at $39 and then there's other more high-end pieces. So there's really something for everyone and I think it's a gorgeous gorgeous way to as I said build up your long-lasting jewelry collection but just to remind you all obviously again that 15% off sale is running be sure to go and get you or your mother a gorgeous little gift I feel like we all deserve it Mother's Day or no Mother's Day let's get into the rest of the video I feel like this is gonna be a little bit chaotic oh. Mom, we're not cool just yet. Rihanna farted. Girls, girls, behave. Intro is... Don't bad. make this really self-indulgent. It's a bit of practice. Oh, oh, oh God, this f***ing smell. Mom, we're not recording yet, and there is no First smell. First of all, it is recording. Second Wait. of all, she's being so shirty. You're telling me not no. to be self-indulgent. This is all about you. So if anyone isn't to be self-indulgent, let's go, bitch. Start from the very beginning. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Chaos. We're actually all friends by the end of this. <laughs> Chaos, but I'm. I think it's going to be a miracle. I haven't had a drink of wine yet. Let's go. First one. What's your body count? What do you mean? Oh, I'm not who I text with. What? She's going to be 
two. <laughs> Not forgetting the most honey. recent. That's a lie. There's been two in the last week. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is so Don't! Answer the fucking question, man. This is the I don't know. You, you oh, do. There's so many that you don't no, know. No, a few. Just a few. Just you a handful. Do know over ten handful. or under ten? I'm no. under fucking ten. Oh. Don't be so prude. Would you kiss Shane McGrath? Uh, on the cheek, yeah. Did she know when you lost your B card? <laughs> Do you know when we lost our virginities? When you use that? Yeah, yeah. No, and I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> you definitely know about doing No, I don't want to know. What's your sex drive like? Bitch! <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I want to go home. Yeah, to answer. I'm a good Catholic girl. You are. You're drinking. Okay, if you don't want to answer when you have to drink. Most crazy sexual experience. I really, I don't want to know. I feel so comfortable. Oh, Can no. we answer? No. I don't want to know. Why? Do, do you want to okay. know? Okay, my mom's behaving. Edit that out. Okay, uh, next one. Most illegal thing you've ever done. Most illegal. God, that's quite interesting. It's a pill in the <laughs> <laughs> This one time. Oh, we all know about the pill I took. I didn't even ask what it was. I just took it. Oh my Crazy God. Bit. Many times I've been caught speeding, but I got away with it. Oh, oh my God! God! You're not going to talk about the money laundering. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Never done yokes. Never done yokes. What are you? What are you? <laughs> Ecstasy. No, I actually have No, I haven't actually. <laughs> Who's your favorite daughter? I love all three Shut of them. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Tell the truth. Does she know what teabagging means? No. No. I don't, let's pass that oh one. Drink what back. does teabagging mean? When should you start buying sex toys? When should you? Yeah. Or when did I? When? Oh, when did you? And when should you? Um, as soon as you want to experiment, I would say. Yeah, I it's agree. a lot more fun life is with that. Great. Holy mother of God. I thought you were a good Catholic girl. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't ask, don't even ask that, don't ask it. Does <laughs> she shave her bum or just the front? <laughs> I'm not answering that. I love that, that question so much. <laughs> One piece of lady advice you wish you knew when you were younger. Um, live life in the, in the moment. Life is very, very short. When we live life in the moment, we get shit. I feel like you answered this. Did you ever or uh, would you ever use hard drugs? No. I didn't intentionally. <laughs> did you lose your virginity to that? Don't lie. You know you no. did. Uh, would you go to a festival? A hundred percent. I cannot wait till they all start up again. Amazing. I can't wait. This is the, the next phase of the middle yeah. crisis. Uh, what's your favourite thing about each of your daughters? Mm, I okay, so that's quite interesting. I like, Rania, I like the way that you're very uh, comfortable in your own skin. I was waiting uh, different. Very comfortable in your own skin <laughs> and you've totally. always had your own fashion sense and you've never been persuaded to dress or follow, follow the street fashion. You always do your own things, so that's really good. Rihanna has the best sense of humour in the house. And Jodie is my little sidekick. So wait, I'm the pause favorite. for one second. Granny got seven compliments and I just got, she's funny in the house. <laughs> All I got was that I was the sidekick. You're my little mini Look, me. girls, okay, okay, sorry being me. the most talented. And who's the funniest child? Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever done anal? <laughs> 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 What age did you lose your virginity at? Oh, okay. Actually, I was quite old. Go on. 25. 21. <laughs> Are you 21? 30. It was when she had me. She saved herself from marriage. Yeah, She's a Catholic girl. 20. No, very young. 16. No. You were, you were, no, you were 19, 18. 19. 18. I think I was 19. 18 or 19. Yeah. yeah that's not How many girls my arms? So this one you have to answer each of us individually. <laughs> Where were you conceived? I'm too scared to ask my parents. Where were, were each of us conceived? I actually think that you were conceived very boringly in the bedroom. Very forward there. Yeah, that's because Ma had a spreadsheet on when we 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 when, when I when we would it. be born so that she could have the summers off. Me and Gemini, and Gemini, Gemini. 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 And what 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 baby did you not want? Gemini. Oh uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so Grania was actually the day before Grania was born. I pleaded with the nurse to give me a cesarean section and take her out so that she wouldn't be a Gemini because Gemini was the next day. And I've ended up with three Geminis. Geminis are great. Ow. Have you ever faked an orgasm? Probably. Probably, but hey, nothing, nothing beats the real thing. Oh, oh my, my god. god. I really hope oh you god. get rid of that. Um. Have you ever heard any of your kids have sex? You no, know, I'm deaf, so that's quite lucky. <laughs> 
Neck you not? No. It's really good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you all just hurt each other. <laughs> If your kids started an OnlyFans, I, I would let my daughters make their own decision. I'd just try and advise, think about everything carefully, and be ready for any criticism. It's a tough old world. You know what? Not everyone's going to be in your camp, and people are always going to criticize what you say and what you do. And as long as you're like thick skinned enough to cope with that, then that's fine. But unfortunately, some people can be really, really cruel. So, have you ever had a lesbian experience? No, but you know what? I'm not going to rule it out yet. <laughs> Look, I always wanted two moms. Who is your celebrity crush, living or dead? Okay, so one of my biggest celebrity, I mean, there was many. Eric Antona. <laughs> Eric Antona. I wore an Eric Antona jersey when I gave birth to Guanya. Okay, here's a good one. What would you change about your kids if you could? Personality traits, etc. I would change nothing. I knew she was going to say that. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I would change a couple of things. Girls so funny. I would crazy. make them really neat and tidy. And yeah, just very generous with looking after their mum and saying, Mum, can we have the clean up and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, I changed that. Which of your daughters reminds you the most of you when you were younger? <laughs> Probably told you. Yeah, well, obviously. Why are That's you going to this bitch in this video? Um, what was your first time like? Not great. It was in a caravan. <laughs> caravan? No, it yeah. wasn't. Obviously, you took a pill in the nightclub one time uh explain your first high story so how did it feel when you took the pill in the nightclub do you know what uh, to be honest i think we've consumed so much alcohol that couldn't we i was still in room anyway i can't i don't really remember that experience ever <laughs> however in recent years in recent years well we're actually matching wait you've been high in recent years well in recent years yes. a little puff and um, right, okay. do you know what I mean? I like I, I you know I wouldn't roll that out every, we, every now and then. Once, once in the blue moon. We were smoking weed every day. But well, I have to tell you, great so feeling, and then couldn't remember the next. Smoking weed every day. Have you ever done psychedelics? Never, never. Which well, you will be on our birthday. Yeah. What's your favorite sex position? <laughs> Missionary. <laughs> Oh no. Really? Oh no. <laughs> Doggy. <laughs> Headstands. <laughs> Spread eagle. <laughs> 69. Reverse bit of, of, bit of bondage thrown in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you believe in God slash your opinion on a higher power? You're a Girl. liar. When you go to church, you, you go to church once a year. Oh, Chris. Do you pray? I caught her praying on her laptop the other day. <laughs> Who was your style inspo when you were in your 20s? Madonna. Oh, that says a lot. That's a bit it? basic. Mm -hmm. No wonder you love a bit of bondage. How many boyfriends did you have before you met dad? No one, obviously, you're a good Catholic Ooh. girl. Probably about 10. 10. Oh, how old were you when you met dad? I was. I well, think about this. <laughs> <laughs> 24? 10. 10 boyfriends. Oh, really? I think that's so young to meet Maybe dad. 23. Yeah, but you had 10 boyfriends. Boy, that's right. Yeah, very casual, like. Oh my god. I'm talking about like you know younger. Oh me. That means that you should have met your husband last year. Probably about eight. eight, actually. Yeah. Did you ever think you were a lesbian or boy? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Every day. The same. So what's awesome. What's the worst thing you've been told during sex? Oh god. <laughs> I actually think I think it was this absolute dick. I literally went out with for a few dates and we'd originally met him in Ibiza and then he just happened to be living in the same village we were living in in England. Okay. And went out on a few dates and stuff like that. And I remember he was one of these fucking Egypts with like big big muscular thing, right, that drank raw eggs and he was like, I'll drink raw eggs and all this no, like you that? and then he and literally I tell you what, he was probably taking steroids. That's all I'm gonna say. He wasn't big in every place. Oh, gee. And then he said something like, you should go to the gym. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I, God. I'm yeah. stop recording now. Yeah. I'm going to leave that in. No, fuck off. I matched with him on Tinder. God, he? yeah. Sure. I'm lying, I'm lying. Delete that, Grant. Oh, oh my God, God, it's going to be edited out. It's going to be edited out. No, we actually don't need that question. Thank you, Shane McGrath, for uh, asking. So, and so I won the story, it's a farting Shane McGrath. Right. Shane McGrath asked, did mother shout herself? And yes, we've heard it way too many times. If you, you know, want the full version, go to Jodie's channel. And one of my friends asked, can I shag you? <laughs> <laughs> How many boys have you had sex with in the space of a week? I don't know. <laughs> I've never had sex with more than one. Boy oh, come week. on. Oh, you do no, more than one. No, I'm not. Hours. No, I'm. Uh, no, I'm actually. I'm actually. Oh, a one good man, a Catholic girl. Yeah, yeah. 
What was your scariest moment as a mother so far? <laughs> when Rihanna and Brian nearly died. Yeah, probably probably when Rihanna split her head off and like on a very yeah. Mm. Woo woo. No, we're not we're not even willing to. Or that. possibly a few nights gone you when you just did not come home. <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> woo woo. God, God actually hey. sleep. I don't think fathers do. Mothers do mother's sleep, don't but sleep. if anyone has hash, drop it around. <laughs> if you were to get rid of one kid, <laughs> <laughs> all the sleep to be in that. Between me and Rihanna, right? Who would you get rid of? You'd get rid of Rihanna. Yeah, uh, probably me. So lazy, man. I get rid of um, Excuse me, though. I'm not answering that question. I am the funny. You can get rid of me. Do I have stuff? I don't mind. Oh, yeah. I say we. Nah, let's get rid of Rihanna. Okay. 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 Hope you enjoyed. Thanks Bye. so much for watching. Cheers. A little reminder you can get 15% off everything on Ana Luisa all the way up till May 5th with the link in the description. So go, go, go. Jewelry girl. Cheers, bitches. Cheers. 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 Bye. Bye. Some of those questions were so rude.